my friends, sometimes, you know, they call me a bird dad. Because all she wants to do is just be next to me all of the time. When I'm brushing my teeth, she will sit on my shoulder, stare at me, and then make a weird cackling noise. Like <laughs> when I go take my shower, Lola often will join. You can see the eyes that just are shiny from happiness. Having said that, no, I had no idea what was about to happen. I was going through a bit of a rough time. I miss not having, you know, a pet at home that I could love. So I went on the internet and I spent days just studying everything that I could about cockatiels specifically. And I had the phone number of an avian vet. He taught me a lot. And so I brought Lola home at that point. She would sit on her cage and she would look at me. It was important for me that that she decide to come to me. So I was giving her a lot of space. But I was 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with Lola. Droite. Droite. Bravo. As time went on, then more and more she started to come closer. And then one day she was sitting on my knee, just staring at me. And all of a sudden, those first few notes came out. That to me was saying, I love you. It was amazing. From that moment on, it's just whatever I was doing, she just joins me all the time. Lola will not eat unless I'm sitting next to her. And whenever I come back from a few days, no matter what she's doing, all of a sudden it's like, oh, you're back. It's all those little things, all those little stories, all those little moments. And if that's not love, I mean, I don't know what is. Lola and I have been together more than 13 years. All those people who say, ah, it's just a parrot, you can buy one for a few dollars. I, I don't understand. They're a living being. They have emotions. I'm not selling for anything. And being able to spend all of my days with my best friend, who really, truly loves me, I'm lucky.